the first phase of the plan to gain access to Set's underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the burning catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Good luck, Sam Blaskovich. These are deep waters. William, can you hear me? You'll have to make your way all the way through the sewer tunnels and into the Berlin catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. Hello, I am Ferris Pilots, and today we're going to be playing some Wolfenstein The New Order uh, on the underwater level. I, I really don't like this level. Actually, what happened is I recorded this already, and it turns out I was using improper settings and it didn't record properly, so we're doing it again. So yay for the level I don't like again. But the nice thing is, the reason I didn't like it was because it involves a lot of navigation and driving this cantankerous old submarine you round have to exit the tunnel glider to neutralize obstacles in your way don't lose track of the tunnel glider it's your only source of oxygen yeah it is okay although kid. we don't really have an oxygen the meter was rising went in the water on account of disobeying father felt like my skin was on fire what's the red tide oh it's like felt isn't that like jellyfish or something fire. apparently he got like abused as a child by his dad so that's something you don't know about BJ Blazkowicz. Um, but as I was saying, I beat this level already, so I probably know roughly where to go. Caroline told me a few inmates tried to escape through the sewer system with some valuables a few years ago. They didn't make it very far. And I was also going to mention, before I keep on getting interrupted by people talking and telling me about their stupid stories, uh, that... I turned up the voice volume so you guys can hear it a little bit better. Maybe I don't, I don't, I don't know, uh, <laughs> but I did that. Old, so from the pond by the stables, yeah, came out covered in leeches. D dude, I don't care about your stupid phobia of being underwater. Okay, like everybody's scared of drowning. All right, but we don't let that get to us, do we? I mean, maybe. Crazy, filthy leeches. All right, look, man. I know you don't like what animals that live in the water. Or I don't know, are jellyfish animals? I feel like they should be. I mean, they're probably in Kingdom Animalia, but, you know, they're not... They're not like... They're not fish. And I mean, fish are and Look, what am I... What the hell am I talking about? Where are we going? I, I just said I knew exactly where we were going, because I just William, beat the level. I have something I want to tell you. But I don't. my cousin Ramona's diary. She used to work with us at the asylum. She's dead now, but she had many secrets inside of her, and there was no one she could trust to keep them. So she wrote them all down. I will radio the diary entries to your audio lock. If you find the time, you can listen. Yeah, we'll listen to these diaries. The first time around, I didn't listen to them. You know what? Screw the diaries. We're not going to listen to them. I changed my mind. You know what? Because screw this level. Like, just... F it, is all I'm saying. The section I don't want to deal with it. It's been out of commission for a long time, but some machinery might still be manually operable. But anyways, so <laughs> this video is probably going to be a lot, like a lot shorter than usual because you know normally I'd spend time fucking around, and that video, the one that I finished recording, was about 18 or 20 minutes long. Uh, and th this one's gonna be less than that, obviously. It's probably gonna be like five minutes, in which case I might make it longer. We'll see. Anyways, I think the trick with this is to, like, turn these things and then let go right when this is about to, like... Yeah, there we go. That's correct. So now we can go through that little thing in the water. And last time around, I freaking fell onto the goddamn thing, so I'm gonna just, just like, jump into the water instead. Swam many water in my days. None as cold as this. Yeah, I get it, Blaskowix. God damn it. It's Nazi water, it's poop water. I understand that you're not exactly thrilled about the entire situation, but it is what it is. Um, the place we're supposed to go is right, so I'm actually going to keep on going. Although, I don't know, does it... Yeah, I already got this Nazi gold, so it's not going to be there this time. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, let's just check it out, and then if there's no Nazi gold... Yeah, I already got all the Nazi gold, so now... There's no real reason for me to be here. So I guess I'm just gonna, like, take the shortcut, you know? Oh well, like, this is... It's only five minutes long. Okay, I'm gonna have to. 
I'm gonna have to do a little bit more in this in this uh in this segment. But I actually think maybe it's kind of a blessing that my recording got screwed up because you don't you don't want to see me you don't want to see how bad I am at navigating underwater levels. Like it's just it's just sad. You will have to find a way to reach the platform on the other side. Yeah, already on it, Anya. I I understand. You know, I've done this once before. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know why we need to release necessarily. I don't think we need to release. I think we can just let it continue filling up until we're ready. And then, yeah, let's do that. And then maybe we can jump over this and then we don't have to go back the long way, which seems fantastic to me. So great job there, I guess. Oh, probably. No, no. I was thinking like, what if you could take out the water and then there was like a secret, but I don't think so. That doesn't seem like the kind of thing that would be there because apparently there was no option to actually remove the water. Yet there was only option to add water to the like little chamber that we were inside of. And I need to move this tank thing. Um, it's really hard to control. Like you guys might think, oh, you seem to be controlling it fine. You didn't see the first video. I swear to God, like that video, it was just me complaining about how terrible, <laughs> about how terrible it was to control that thing. Not fun. Okay, well, let's go. This is as far as the tunnel glider will take you. Yeah, yeah, I get it. In the it. last section, you will have to swim. The catacombs are close. Come on, let's go. Okay. There we go. That thing's gonna go and smash into the gate. It's like a mine, obviously. You know what's interesting? I actually think that his, like, lines here... Like, last time around, I didn't get all of these lines. Like, the swimming is so hard. I, I hate swimming lines you know um last time i didn't get those so that was interesting although actually there's one thing we need to pick up here off at the side i don't know if we need to pick it up or if we if it already counts as we got it but you know better safe than sorry uh, let's open this up and you know maybe you're watching this because you want to walk through probably not but <laughs> probably you'd want somebody competent to play if you were watching this for a walkthrough but you know there you go if you're in wyatt timeline there's supposed to be an armor upgrade here. It's not here because I already got it. So let's go. Also, there was this like secret here. It's not like a secret necessarily, but if you get like jammed up real close to the wall or something, you could sometimes like pick up some ammo. I'm not 100% sure exactly, but I'm going to leave it be because we don't really need any ammo. So let's go. All right, and we need to go down here. Yeah, let's go. Age 19, it, dove down the well to salvage father's watch, but it wasn't as deep as this. Okay, no, I, I have heard all of these. I just wasn't paying any attention um, <laughs> at the time. Okay, so that's fine. And we are at the exit of the sewer level. Finally, I think, I hope, I, William, I dream. Directly above you are the catacombs. There's an elevator that can take you right into the... Yeah, I, I see it on you. Very observant of you. Uh, let's switch to shooty shooty mode and press the. Okay. Excellent, Captain Blaskovich. You are now inside the weapons depot. This is the second phase of the plan to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. In these munition stocks, there is a cargo train. The train is packed full. Small arms, artillery shells, torpedoes, and such for distribution to the Nazi war machine. You will steal this train. Small arms we can use to strengthen our fighters, but the real target is securing the torpedo delivery. Yeah. This will allow you to board and seize control of a Nazi U-boat. But first things first, steal the train. Yeah, I'll steal the freaking train. God damn it. Locate the train and drive it to yes. the abandoned underground train station north of there. Our people will be waiting for you at this station. I understand you want the train, okay? Wait, oh, we got a laser crafts work upgrade. That's awesome. Uh, I can't wait to try it out. What the heck is that? Okay, it's nothing. What the heck is this? It's a health pack. I don't need overcharge right now. I, again, I'm not saying that to be like, you know, I, I'm too good for overcharge. I'm, I'm just saying I don't need overcharge um, because but there are no freaking enemies around. Why would I need overcharge? It doesn't make any sense. Can I 
I go through here? Wait, wait, there was a... Use armor. Ah, not quite. Let's just make it a little bit bigger then. I, I like the cutting mechanic, but I do think it's a little... You know... <laughs> it's, it's a little... It's a little, uh... Little much. I like how... The laser crafts work gun was actually charging when we were underwater. Apparently that's a feature nobody ever heard of. Of course, that's ridiculous, and... And in reality, the game designers put that there so that you wouldn't get stuck under the water uh, because you didn't have any laser charge. But it's just something that I noted that happened. So that's pretty cool. Let's go. This is like fucking Fallout 3 level under the ground subway type thing. Look, I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm not interested in Ramona's diary. It also reminds me kind of of the like train level from Alpha Protocol. Okay, so there's a guy there. You can see him. I can see him. We can all see him. I don't like the fact that there's like three ways to go. Um, that's not great. But we're gonna go and kill this guy, probably. I mean, why not? Um, I have no idea how to start doing that, but I'm gonna try. Well, you know what? Let's let's go and switch to a more sneaky type weapon. Does this have the silencer on it? Is what I want to know. It did not, so it's a good thing we went and put it on. Come on, dude, where are you? Like, that guy scares me. I'm, I'm gonna, like, pop up here and he's gonna be right there. Okay, he's not. He's not even close. Which, honestly, if you ask me, is even more scary. I got some grenades somehow. Apparently I was standing like right on top of them. So there's a guy there. Yeah, there is. Um, we're gonna go back down here and play this very slowly, very methodically. And the reason for that is I don't want to die. Hey, we killed him sneakily. That's pretty cool. All right, all right, all right. Next up, let's kill some more Nazis. I don't know where you are, bro. Who saw me there? Because, like, somebody was like, huh? Someone? I don't know who said that. Is that the guy? No, there's no guy there. There's no one there, either. Oh, this asshole! I don't know if I hit him, but probably did. Okay, good. Having an assault rifle really makes me feel a lot better. Having some more heavy ammunition, too. Some guy saw me. He was like, what the fuck, right? He just said that. Apparently, they also censored what the fuck, but they were... They were like, let's have a scene where you just, like, get high on LSD and then have sex. But, no, swearing is, is going too far. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Um, where are the Nazis? I really don't... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid for my life right now. All I'm armed with is a pistol. I mean, I have other guns, but... You know, some guy just said, what the... F like, how are they able to see me so well? Like, where are they? I don't even know where they are. But apparently they can see me. Which is scary. Right? Would you not agree? Okay, let's go up here. Um... Oh shit. Never mind. We're gonna do a shooting. Oh fuck, there's a gun. Alright, we're gonna get his uh we're gonna get his armor and we're gonna get some stuff and we're gonna shoot some guys and it's gonna be a fun, fun, fun time. Wow, there's gunfire coming from that direction? Oh, this direction! Okay, that was, um, you know, poor situation awareness on my part. Oh no, they're sending backup! Come on, guys, don't send backup, please. I just wanted to kill you and steal your train. Jesus fucking Christ. Ah. Oh. What a bunch of assholes. 
That's just ammo. I was hoping for health or armor or something. There are still people shooting at me, and I don't know where they are. Uh, and I'm looking in the wrong direction. But I see the muzzle flashes and stuff. It's a little bit scary. I don't know if this, it's muzzle flashes or if it's just, like, poor lighting in this area because, you know, they need to hire an electrician. I can't really tell. I mean, I think it's a little bit of both, actually. Where's the guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's an officer. How cute. Okay, so he's the last one. Um, I guess I'll go loot their shit. I mean, why not, right? Yeah, I was like, this stupid light fixture was making me think that it was like muzzle flashes that were happening, but actually it was just poor lighting on their part. Wait. But then who was train? What was the train lever for? I don't understand. If I can just press this to open stuff. <laughs> okay, then. You know, part of me may, uh, like thinks maybe that... Um, maybe there's a guy behind this door. You know, I, I don't know if... I don't know if, if anybody else is getting that impression, but I seem to... For some reason, it just makes me feel like there might be a guy behind this door. I don't know why. That's odd, right? <laughs> okay, let's go up this way. That opens from the other side, of course. What is this train? Okay, I'm gonna... For the sake of science. First of all, I'm gonna bust this shit open, which has nothing in it. But second of all, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna pull this lever. Okay. If you're having trouble starting the train, it could be that the switch for the railway tracks is in the wrong orientation. Oh, okay. There should be a control room nearby that will allow you to manipulate the switch. I see. How clever. <laughs> this is probably the control room up there. Can we get into the control room? Evidently not. Uh, we're probably going to need to press that button that I was, you know, hoping not to press because there was a guy behind the door that would assuredly open once we press that button. So we're going to see if we can't do this some other way, like maybe go back here. And hey, there's, there's stuff here. Overcharged, I didn't mean to get, but whatever. There's ammo too. But we got an Enigma code, which is nice. And some ammo. All right. Look, I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but... Nur authorized person now. Okay, so authorized personnel only. Um... That's also authorized person... Okay, we're gonna have to open that door. I don't see really any, any real way around it. Oh god, no, 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 no! That was not the guy. That was not the guy I wanted to fight. Oh god, no! Oh no! 